Hey folks, I am making this video to show some of my Windows QWERTY users how to get QWERTY to work with uh, PreSonus Studio One and Loop MIDI. So that's what this video is gonna show. Okay, number one, you need to have Loop MIDI installed, okay? Once it's installed, you're going to create a port. That's it, okay? So all the stuff with Loop MIDI is now done. Now you're going to open up Studio One. I have, um, this is the free version, Studio One Prime. All right, failed all the speakers, that's fine. I don't care about that. All right, now you're going to make a new song, empty song, okay? We've got this here. Now you go to the Studio One menu, go to Options, go to External Devices, and you'll see, normally what you see is nothing, okay? You're not gonna see anything here. You need to click the Add button. Then you're gonna go New Instrument, and you're going to set it to Send to Loop MIDI Port, okay? That's the port you just created here. If you wanna give this a different name, you can. All right, the name you put here is the name that will appear right here. Enable all channels, and you can give it a name. Instead of device instrument, you can call it Loop MIDI Port. All right, and just click OK. Now that's gonna be here. It's not receiving anything from Loop MIDI. You're strictly sending to it, okay? Next, um, you need to make sure you got your audio stuff set up. All right, so click OK. Now you're going to create a track. You're going to add an instrument track, and you're going to set the output, this thing right here, to loop MIDI port, okay? Now, I'm not gonna show this with the keyboard. I'm just gonna draw some stuff. First thing I'm gonna do is draw a region. Just gonna draw a bar like that. All right, I'm going to double click this to open the editor, and now I'm going to draw some notes. And if you pay attention, to this part of the screen right here, you're gonna to see total data, get some stuff added to it, and you're gonna see the throughput per second column have some numbers added to it as well. All right, so I'm just gonna draw this. I'm gonna draw another C right there. I'm gonna make, I'm, let's do a C major triad. Uh, there's the G right there. Okay, and let's extend those notes a little bit just for the sake of having them. A little bit longer, all right. And we'll just add some other random stuff here. That's fine. Okay. Now that I've got that, if I push the play button, you'll see it's sending all of those notes right here to the loop MIDI port. Now that I've got that working, I can open up QWERTY app. You can put that in the corner over here. All right, I'm gonna go back to the top and let me shrink. Uh, just pay attention to the this part right here, okay? I'm gonna press play and we'll see all of the notes there, okay? Now, if you have a MIDI controller, you can set that up to trans, to record enable, um, sorry. If you have a MIDI keyboard connected, you can set um, PreSonus to record any MIDI coming in from that and route it to Loop MIDI, and that will then send it on to Cordy app. Um, if you have multiple MIDI devices, you need to set Cordy app to respond to Loop MIDI port, okay? Now, the most important thing to remember is open Loop MIDI first, define that port, then in Studio One, enable the port under external devices, then create your track, and set it to route to loop MIDI. Then finally, in Cordy App, set the MIDI input to use that loop MIDI port. Okay? All right, I hope you found that helpful. I hope this will enable you to use loop MIDI, uh, Cordy App, and PreSonus all at the same time. All right, thanks for tuning in.